and the demo, you know, captured a lot of people's imaginations. Are those products, those features available right now? When are they available? Uh, you know, Project Astra is something we are working to bring to Gemini, uh, you know, but we'll do it sometime this year. It will be quality driven, just like with Google Lens. Uh, we are going to test it out, give it to more people, but then roll it out widely. That's what we did with search. And so we, have, we know how to do it and scale it up. Is that fast enough when ChatGPT shows a demo or OpenAI shows a demo a day before I.O. and now those some of those features are being used right now? Can you guys move faster? I don't think they've shipped their demo to their users yet, too. I don't think it's available in the product. So I think all of us are, you know, we are working at the cutting edge technology and bringing it as fast to our products as possible. Uh, I think I think it's good to be in that moment, but you know we we have a clear sense of how how to approach it, and we'll get it right. You've said before that Google's competitive advantage in Gen AI is the quality of your data, not just the quantity of it. There was a report that OpenAI trained GPT for on millions of hours of YouTube videos. Would you sue OpenAI for violating your terms? Like, I think it's a question for them to answer. Uh, uh, you know, I don't have anything to add. We do have clear terms of service, and and so you know I think normally in these things we engage with with, with companies and make make sure they understand our terms of service and we'll sort it out. Are you doing anything to determine if they broke your terms? Uh, we you know we we have processes to do that. I'm not exactly familiar.